let's say we want to reference data within our pivot table outside of our pivot table um, within the Excel worksheet. So if I want to do that, say for instance, maybe I want to get, um, I want to put the grand total of everything at the top um, and then and, sh and show that above my pivot table. So let's do something like this where we go total and then we're going to go equals um, H29. Okay, and so that's our total, but um, let's say we filter um, out a few people here, and it changes where our grand total is located. Well, notice how our, our reference is no longer valid. In order to fix that, um, there's built-in functionality um, called the get pivot data function that allows us to reference a um, particular um, value within the pivot table and then no matter how we change our filtering or, or arrangement of the pivot table that value is always referenced. So for example I'm just going to hit equals and then choose my grand total here hit enter and you can see that is referenced so like if I take out my customer name our total stays the same even though it's in a different cell. So I could do I could do a couple things here. I could put um, east and oh let's put our let's put our subtotals on here first. So east we're gonna make all of that. Get to the tail. And then west equals, and then let's get a little more room here. Control Y, west, north, south equals north, then south. Yeah. Okay, so let's put some formatting around this. Alright, so now again we can, um, I could, uh, you know, collapse my region and still show all my totals up here. Um, I could even add other fields in. So um, maybe we want products in here. And notice how my um, my totals are still at the top. So you may have a bunch of detail information um, at the bottom of your pivot table, um, and then put uh, summary information above to make a nice little like dashboard type report.